1939, on the eve of the Second World War, Albert Einstein wrote a letter to the American president, Franklin Roosevelt. Sir, the element uranium may be turned into a new and important source of energy in the immediate future. Certain aspects of the situation which has arisen seem to call for watchfulness. And, if necessary, quick action on the part of the administration. Extremely powerful bombs of a new type may thus be constructed. The letter was about an application of Einstein's famous equation. E equals MC squared. And his fear that the Nazis could use it to build an atomic bomb. His letter set off a chain of events which led to the destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Albert Einstein would later describe writing this letter as the one mistake of his life. This is the story of his famous equation and how E equals MC squared changed history and Einstein forever. On the eve of the Second World War, Albert Einstein, the most famous scientist in the world, was on holiday by the coast outside New York. He was an instinctive pacifist who had fled Nazi Germany, and he had hoped to turn his back on the violence in Europe and continue his work in peace. But his summer was interrupted by a visitor who had also fled the Nazis. The caller was Leo Szilard, another brilliant scientist, and an old friend of Einstein's from Europe. Szilard. Hey, Professor. There is something we must do. Come in. Leo Szilard had come to persuade his old friend that the world was threatened by a new weapon. His aim was to convince Einstein that something had to be done. Cookie? Hey, Professor, I need your help. Why? Are you on the run from the police? I wish it was that simple. I want you to help me compose a letter. It's a long way to come for help with your correspondence. Not this correspondence. I've never written a letter like this before. I'm not even sure what I should say. Who is the letter to? Roosevelt. President Roosevelt? Are you offering advice or admonition? A warning. I want to warn Roosevelt about the German bomb. The Germans have many bombs. Not one like this. At least not yet. It's an atomic bomb. The Germans are going to be able to build an atomic bomb. And if they are doing it, then so must we. This meeting would one day come to haunt Einstein. Because Leo Zillard had come to explain that the Nazi project he feared so much was an application of something Einstein himself had discovered. The equation E equals MC squared.
E equals mc squared is the symbol of Einstein's genius. It's an equation that sums up one of the most powerful truths about the universe. It combines two ideas which until Einstein came along, no one had ever dreamed could be connected in such a powerful way. The idea of mass. And the idea of energy. If you think about energy and mass, it's not at all obvious that they're anything like the same thing. I mean, energy is something that moving objects have, and mass is something that every object possesses. So, really, it's a bold step to, to, to try and link them in any way, let alone in the beautiful way that Einstein did. Einstein's great insight was that energy, the thing that enables an object to move, and mass, essentially an object's weight, are not different. They are, in fact, the same thing. Einstein really found that energy and mass are two sides of the same coin. They're almost the same thing. So mass, in a sense, is, is energy waiting to be liberated. In other words, according to Einstein, mass could be transformed into energy and energy into mass but einstein's equation went even further it gave an exact value to the amount of energy contained within any given mass energy equals mass times c the speed of light squared a number that is absolutely huge. This is Einstein's famous equation. E energy equals M mass times C squared, the speed of light squared. In meters per second, 89,875 million million. Huge number. That means you get an awful lot of energy for an extremely tiny amount of mass. The implications of this neat equation were vast. Well, it means that there's enough energy in a glass of water to power a city like London for a week. Hidden within every object around us is a huge store of energy. Einstein published E equals MC squared in 1905. And it changed the world. It wasn't long before E equals MC squared was used to solve one of the great mysteries of life on Earth. What really powers the sun? For generations, this had baffled scientists. Because if the sun just burned like a huge bonfire, the calculations showed it should have died out millions of years ago. But Einstein's equation explained what was powering the sun. 